Oh man, I love this song. I love listening to this song. I love playing this song. I love thinking about this song. When when he sings, I just feel like the singer, whatever his name is, and I could just really just be best friends and he could come over for ping pong sometimes. And when I went to go look at who requested this song, Ariel's System of a Down, the answer was nobody. Nobody requested this song. I just really wanted to do it. So, uh, for me, but uh, rather than shout myself out, I will just thank Frank West and Derek, Derek Pedluski for uh, supporting me on Patreon. Gentlemen, thank you so very, very, very much. We're going to have our first Patreon uh, folks only uh, live stream this Sunday at 2. Uh, if you want to take our relationship to the next level and find out what that's all about, the link will be in the description. Of course, I know I didn't put the time in my little message to you all. I'm, I'm going to fix that so you'll get the message. Anyways, this song is awfully straightforward once you get your guitar into drop C. Drop C not dropsy, that's a fish disease, is the same as drop D, except a whole step lower than that. So I think I've made a video on that. If I have, I'll put it in the description, but if I haven't, your notes are gonna be really low C, G, C again, F, A, and D. It's not in the song, but now you can play a D shape with all the strings. You get the lowest C chord you've ever played. Anyways, here we go. Guitar change. <laughs> SG Classic is great for a lot of awesome stuff, but the P90 pickups are not good for playing System of a Down. This guitar has um, pickups that came out of somebody's Les Paul somewhere. I think I got them on eBay for like, I don't know, 80 bucks for both of them. Grab some mediocre guitar, like mediocre, not really junky, and get some new stuff for it, and it'll become like totally one of a kind just for you. This guitar probably costs $400, but it's absolutely priceless to me now, because I've done stuff to it that certainly didn't cost priceless. Anyways, uh, yeah, so here we go. We're in drop C, and we're it, this is a one finger job. Grab the E with the used to be E string third fret, and you're gonna pluck. Just E, A, D, used to be, right? We'll call them what they used to be so we don't go crazy. Move your finger down to the second fret. Same thing. And now open once, twice, three, and one more A string. So... And that plugging pattern's not going to change for a little while. Now we go five, three, two... Seven five really quick with E A E A three two open. So here we go. Ready? higher 12 10 7 14 10 7 12 14 15 17 15 14 12 10 12 and then you chug away so yeah when you do the 7 5 going quick back down and similarly when you do the 15 I'm really good at that word <laughs> similarly when you do the 15 14 okay whole thing ready So we're in drop, <laughs> we're in drop C, and uh, which is the same as drop B or drop D. The power chords are all in the, in the same fret. So uh, we used to have to go like this, right? Well, now this string is two frets lower than it used to be, so it's 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 like that, and you can just do that with one finger. And for this song, it's in the eighth fret. So, right? I 
thought I heard the note, the tenth fret of the D string, and I thought I heard it kind of poke in and out, so maybe something like this. <laughs> I was watching a live version and I thought I even heard on the live version the G string 10th fret, so you could do that if you want to. You just hold them the whole time or you could do whatever you want to make that fancy there, but then you go one, two, three, four on the low string followed by an octave chord on A10 and G12. That's our octave shape whatever note, and then up two frets and down two strings gives you the same note twice. So you're gonna go 10, 12, 8, 10, 7, 9, 5, 7. So, cha. it is I, th I think it's right plus this is yet another octave uh, or fifth here rather so, so think about your your old power chord shape we have a root and a fifth right and another uh, root so then it becomes root fifth root and from this fifth two again two frets higher and two strings lower we have another octave of that fifth so if you do eight 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 ten you have a double power chord there and then you can add this D string in as you please so leave that G ten <laughs> You just get more beef there. I like that. Or you just do it like this. Or any of the ways are great. But however you do that, coming out of the second chorus the very last time, rather than go, he's all, we are the ones that love to choose, always want to stay, but you, you go down a fret. Right now there's an instrument that's not a guitar that goes and you can mimic that instrument if you want keeping your power chord on the seventh fret and go and that gives you some nice awful tension there uh, a la uh, dream on right aerosmith but you'll know what i mean if you listen to that anyways then we do the intro but as super duper power chords so. Three, two, open. Five, three, two. Three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, open. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Told you it was straightforward. Man, that one's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for being here for my pick. Happy Friday! I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.